Why do my fingers get wrinkly when I'm swimming? It may seem as if your skin is absorbing extra water during a soak in the pool or bathtub, but that's not the case. Researchers have known since the 1930s that people with nerve damage in their fingers don't prune up the way everyone else does. In other words, wrinkly fingers don't happen through osmosis. Instead, it's caused by blood vessels below the skin that constrict, which seems to have the evolutionary advantage of making it easier for us to pick up wet objects. For a 2013 study published in Biology Letters, scientists found that subjects with wrinkled fingers were faster at picking up submerged marbles than those with unwrinkled fingers. How did the colors blue and pink get assigned to boys and girls? It seems so embedded in our culture, but it wasn't always so. In 1927, Time magazine printed a chart showing that four major department stores suggested dressing boys in pink, according to Smithsonian Magazine. In 1918, the trade publication Earnshaw's Infants Department wrote, the generally accepted rule is pink for the boys, and blue for the girls. The reason is that pink, being a more decided and stronger color, is more suitable for the boy, while blue, which is more delicate and dainty, is prettier for the girl. Why do car windows have little black dots? The little black dots on your car's windshield and windows and the black rims that surround them aren't just there for decoration. The dots date all the way back to the 50s, when car manufacturers used adhesive to hold car windows in place rather than metal trim. The black trim around the windows, called fritz, and the black dots are painted onto the glass to hide the not very appealing look of the adhesive. The rims are actually baked into the window, so they hold the glue and window in place. The dots serve as an aesthetically pleasing transition from the thick black line to the transparent window. They aren't just there to look nice though. They help provide temperature control. When the glass is bent to fit into the frame of the windshield, it's heated up. The black painted glass heats up faster than the rest, and the dots help to distribute the heat more evenly and keep the glass from warping. What were the first crops humans started to grow? Crop cultivation probably started with wild varieties of peas, lentils, and barley that humans already found growing naturally around 12,000 years ago in the Fertile Crescent region of the Middle East and the salt. Why do seashells sound like the ocean? It's lovely to reminisce about your beach vacation by listening to the sound of waves in a big conch shell. Of course, that it isn't the ocean you hear. The shape of seashells allows them to capture and reflect ambient noise, amplifying certain frequencies, so when you hold one to your ear, you're really just hearing echoes of the quiet sounds that are already surrounding you. The empty bowls and bottles can produce similar effects. Why do cops touch the taillight on a car during traffic stops? For decades, police officers have put their fingers on a car's taillight as they approach the driver's side window in order to leave fingerprints. It's a just-in-case precaution that would prove they pulled a car over should they be injured during the encounter or go missing afterward. The practice has fallen off recently, though, as dashboard and body cameras have become more commonplace. Why are school buses yellow? The color is officially called National School Bus Glossy Yellow, and it's standard across the United States. Back in 1939, at a conference funded by the Rockefeller Foundation, Transportation officials from all of the then 48 states agreed on a number of safety standards for school buses, including the color. 
Yellow is very visible, even in early morning or late evening light, and black lettering on a yellow background is easy to read. It took until 1974 for all the school buses in the country to meet the standards. Why do we always see the same face of the moon? Here on Earth, we can always see the man in the moon because the same surface faces toward us no matter where the moon is in its orbit. That's because the moon is tidally locked with Earth, meaning that our gravitational pull keeps it rotating on its axis at a speed that's coordinated with its orbit around our planet. We humans didn't get a look at the moon's other side until 1959, when the Soviet Luna spacecraft took the first photos and scientists realized it's much different. There are few large lava seas, like the ones on the side facing us, and many more impact craters. Why do we sleep? Although the actual mechanism of sleep is still poorly understood, we do know why we need to do it. Brains seem to require downtime in order to stay organized and particularly to strengthen new neural connections that allow us to remember what we've learned. And we know why we shouldn't go without. Long-term sleep deprivation can cause hallucinations, psychosis, heart disease, and immune system dysfunction. Every physiological system in the body, and every operation of the mind, is powerfully enhanced by sleep when we get it and demonstrably impaired when we don't get enough. Why does a bunny deliver eggs at Easter? The Easter Bunny is probably a throwback to an ancient Anglo-Saxon myth about the fertility goddess Ostera. Folklorists say that Ostara changed a bird into a rabbit, which went on to lay colored eggs that she presented to children as gifts. It's unclear how the myth was co-opted by Christians, but it's first mentioned in late 16th century German texts, and German Lutherans brought the Easter Bunny with them to the United States in the 18th century. Why do squirrels chase one another? When they go on mad sprints, up and down trees, and across your yard and deck, they're probably working out their hierarchy. The most common U.S. species, the eastern gray squirrel, doesn't tend to be territorial, but does like to let everyone know who's boss. Not too surprisingly, young squirrels also like to chase one another around for fun, just as puppies do. Why are some people left-handed? About 90% of humans are righties, and it's not at all clear why that proportion continues to hold. If there were a major evolutionary advantage to being left-handed, more people would have the trait. If there were a clear disadvantage, it would disappear. The latest thinking among scientists is that a large number of different genes affect handedness, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Many of the genes that have been studied play a part in the body's left-right symmetry, and certain mutations can lead to unusual organ placements, like the heart being on the right side instead of the left. How do birds know where to migrate? 40% of bird species migrate every year, with some traveling tens of thousands of miles. Arctic terns fly about 50,000 miles every year, from pole to pole. Migrating birds can even find their destinations if researchers make them start from unusual locations. How do they do it? Some songbirds use a magnetic map to navigate long distances, but nobody knows how they can detect the Earth's magnetic field. Why are there 13 in a baker's dozen? 
Bakers in medieval England are thought to have come up with the idea of tossing in an extra roll or loaf of bread to make sure their customers were happy. While 12 eggs are easy to quantify, baked goods can turn out all different sizes because of differences in how much the dough rises. Plus, many bakers didn't have accurate scales to weigh their flour. Being accused of cheating could result in punishment, including flogging, so bakers hedged their bets and included 13, or sometimes 14, items to make sure nobody complained. Why are traffic lights green, yellow, and red? Red has the simplest explanation, red has the longest wavelength of any color on the spectrum of visible light, and as such, it's easier to see from far away than other colors. Railroad systems used red as a stop signal long before automobiles were on the roads. Trains originally used a white light to mean go, but engineers probably had a harder time telling it apart from the light of stars and other lanterns, so green took its place. Yellow was the original choice for stop signs because it was easier to see than red at night, but as reflective paint, streetlights, and headlights proliferated, the signs were changed over to red. Yellow is the second easiest color to see from a distance, so it was added as the caution signal in traffic lights. Why do we wear wedding rings on our fourth finger? The traditions of wearing a wedding band on your fourth finger on your left hand dates back to ancient Egypt. Egyptians saw wedding bands as a symbol of eternity and believed there was a delicate nerve that ran from the ring finger all the way to the heart. We now know that the heart is an organ for pumping blood, but back then they believed it was the center of our emotions. Ancient Greeks and Romans followed a similar tradition and passed on the wedding band finger to us. Why are most blackboards green and not black? Before blackboards were large enough to take up an entire wall in a classroom, students would use individual sized boards made of slate or wood that had been painted black. So the first blackboards were, in fact, black. Once teachers realized they needed more space to teach their students, they put multiple boards of slate together on the wall to make bigger blackboards. Finally, as the demand for blackboards rose, companies started making them out of steel plates coated with green porcelain-based enamel instead of the traditional dark slate. This way, the boards were lighter, less fragile, and easier to ship. Why do we eat cake on birthdays? No one is complaining about this tradition, but haven't you always wondered why we do it? The ancient Egyptians are actually credited with inventing the celebration of birthdays. They believed that when pharaohs were crowned gods, it represented their birth as a god and that the day needed to be celebrated. The ancient Greeks borrowed the tradition and decided it would be even better with the addition of a sweet treat. They made moon-shaped pies to honor Artemis, goddess of the moon, and added lit candles to make the cakes shine like the moon. That's where we get birthday candles from. Since the ingredients to make a cake were pretty expensive, the tradition didn't become popular until around the Industrial Revolution, when the ingredients started to become more plentiful. Why do elevators have tiny holes in them? Have you ever noticed a tiny hole on an elevator door? Well, it might just save your life. The hole is used in emergencies when the elevator doors won't open and people are stuck inside. A key is inserted into the hole, releasing the elevator's landing door so anyone on board can get to safety.
Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.